This is Kyle Beeler here from MyLeaderSource.com. I'm here today with Nadia. Nadia, how are you? Good. We're going to get a little bit of work today on the seated calf raise machine. All right. Let's talk about a few key points. Now, with the seated calf raise, you want to make sure that this is snug down onto her quads right above her kneecap so we can get a full benefit from the machine. Now, once Nadia begins the movement, she's going to have to push up, push the lever in that allows her to get the full stretch on the calf as she goes down and back up. She wants to make sure that the heel is dropping and that she's coming up and really pointing that toe so she gets a full peak contraction on the calf without going too fast. A nice cadence of two to three seconds going down and a nice peak contraction up at the top is desirable for this particular movement. Now, some of the common faults. With some of the common faults you're gonna see with the machine is this not being engaged with her legs. So if this is up too high on her, there's no way that she's going to be able to perform this particular movement. There's no tension that's going to be caused on the calf machine and she can liable to hurt herself with this on a calf raise because they're not going to go anywhere. This lever won't even be able to move. This has to be snug down onto her legs. Now that we have that snug down onto her legs, she can move this particular movement. Now the other common fault that you're going to see with this is going too fast. She's going to bounce this too quick. Now right there, all we're using is momentum from the bottom to the top part. We don't want to use that. We want to use the proper form and the proper muscle on this particular movement, and we want to make sure that we have a nice cadence of control from the peak contraction all the way to the stretch down. Go ahead, Nani, and close that up. Now in conclusion, we want to make sure that she has her legs snug underneath here, that she gets a full stretch on the calf, that she unlocks it and locks it back to make sure she has a proper form and she is safe on this machine throughout the whole workout. This is Kyle Beeler from MyLeaderSource.com. Thank you.